Hi, this is Patrick with SpyFu.com. Today, we're going to learn how to find high-ranking SEO content in your niche using SpyFu. You can search a keyword to find top-ranking content, but finding what's consistently successful in an industry takes more than just a search or two. That's why I'm going to show you how to find high-ranking content through big competitors. I'm going to pretend I'm a medium-sized business in the painting industry. So in this search box, I am going to type a large competitor, benjaminmore.com. In the previous video, we found top ranking SEO keywords in your niche. If you would like to check that video out, there's a link in the description below. If you've already watched the previous video, you know that one of the best places to get competitive SEO insights is on the SEO keyword section of SpyFu. So I'm going to hover over to the SEO research tab right here, move my mouse down to the SEO keyword section and click. Here we're looking at all the keywords SpyFu has seen Benjamin Moore rank on organically, but we can also see the URLs that these keywords lead to. We want to find high ranking pieces of content that have a good amount of searches per month, because here's the end goal. Once we find good keywords that are relevant to our site, we want to be able to emulate the best pieces of content out there for those keywords, or at least be inspired by them. Coming up with fresh and unique content ideas on your own is fantastic, but you can't spend all of that energy and money to apply that dedication to every piece of content for every single keyword you want to rank on. Sometimes you just need to learn from the best. So what's the best way to go about this? First off, Let's make sure this filter is set to most valuable keywords. Then let's sort these rows by rank slash rank change. We'll do this by clicking on the title of the rank change column. You might have to click it a couple of times, but just stop when you see the highest ranks on top, ranks like one, two, or three. Now we're looking at Benjamin Moore's top ranking SEO keywords and the pages that they lead to. You'll notice that some of these are branded keywords and others have really high ranking difficulty. What you want to find is that sweet spot, high ranking content with an average to low ranking difficulty. And if you can find some with fairly high searches per month, that's even better. Seafoam green. It's not ideal, but it does hit a lot of those qualifications. It actually looks like Benjamin Moore is grabbing the top spots for several unique color names. It's an interesting part of the market that they cornered. So let's learn from that. I'm going to click on this little go to icon to the left of the URL. This page is incredibly simple, showing you the color, a brief description, and some options on what a user could explore. This won't always be the case, and it varies drastically by industry. Sometimes it's a page like this. Sometimes it's a 10 page blog article with infographics and a ton of outbound links. The important thing to learn is what works in your industry and then take that and do your best to emulate it. Sometimes that means the content, the words themselves. And sometimes like in Benjamin Moore's case, it's also the structure of the page. Where are they guiding the user? And does this audience want something simple and clean or intricately detailed? Not only that, but keep in mind that Google also looks at how long a person stayed on a page. So content isn't going to be effective without engagement. So don't only take a competitor's page at face value, but also consider what about it might be keeping a user there or have that user dig deeper. With paint, it seems like simple and clean with gateways for the user to be creative is the key. It gives them the direct information that they need and then encourages them to dive into related pages on the site in the name of education and artistry. In hindsight, this makes a lot of sense. You want to see what the color is, what it goes with, and then you can imagine the rest. But they could have just as easily included a photo of a paint bucket or a house or tutorials on the best ways to paint. The great thing about SpyFu is that the mystery of the best approach is eliminated. In this case, Benjamin Moore already did the work for you. They found out what was effective in your audience and are now ranking highly on Seafoam Green as well as many other similar keywords. You can avoid the expensive and arduous trial and error period and immediately know what works. You can even compare Benjamin Moore's approach with other sites in the industry and see which techniques translate best for your site. Long story short, the keyword research tab is not only a great place to find strong keywords in your niche, 
but also gives you guidance on how to build content around them. Again, this doesn't only apply to paint. Try it with other big competitors in your industry, and you might be surprised on what you find. As always, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to videos from SpaFu. Like and subscribe. SpaFu is on YouTube. YouTube.